Henry Hodges' niece of friends. Henry Hodges was one of the loneliest boys. No friends lived near him. He didn't like toys. There was never a soil for young Henry to meet. His house was a last on a long dead end street. Henry wandered outside to his old tire swing, just to wonder what boredom this new day would bring. But his mother's eyes twinkled. Don't worry, don't fret. A friend's what you need, so a friend's what you get. Son, you are special. Father said with a grin. You look high and look low for a perfect new friend. It won't be a loud boy, or a nice girl will find, find, but a pet who like you is one of kind. One of a kind, Henry thought. Hmm, what could that be? A kitten who barks, or a pig who climbs trees? Could it be hamster? Could it be big hamster who flies through the air, or turtle who sings and has wild, hip, baby hair? Perhaps a goldfish with antlers, or a cool purple purple fox. Hey, a goat with ten legs. That look fun. That looks funny in socks. Which would I choose? Henry thought, with a laugh. A joke telling beaver or a short neck dress. So how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck? Chalk, chalk wood. A cor- a porcupine with quills that are softer than silk, or a cow for my backpack who gives chocolate milk. A finger skating hippo. Who really be nice, but he eats way too much and breaks down the ice. Henry smiled and kept trying to figure it out. A one of a kind friend. Well, he had his doubts. A shelter for animals. That's great place to look. There he searched for a pet, every crane, to and nook, and so Henry looked. He explored every hole. When finally he searched and one of and for all. There curled in a corner, covered up a brown spot, was a loneliest pup, just filled with sad thoughts. As Henry sat down, the pup jumped in his lap, and the boy started proudly. Your new name is Hap. It's it's a nickname for Happy, and that's just what you you'll be.
You have a friend always. Now that you're with me, your best friend. Cats can be very stinky. Then Henry hugged Hap, and they rolled on the ground. The air filled with laughing and slippery sounds. Hap licked Henry is Henry's ears, and his mouth and his nose. Hap chewed the boy shoestring and nipped his toes. Nibbled his toes. Henry now had his friends and was lonely no more. Once there there were three hundred. Hundreds, and now there are there were four. If we're lonely or sad, God knows just what we need. And for Henry, his help was the best choice, indeed. Henry didn't need a. Need a funny pet, colored yellow or blue, but a one a kind friend, just like your friend needs you.